has been a really long time since I sat down and actually filmed a haul. Oh, it's hot. I actually did not want to film the haul. It was just because I didn't want to have to sit down right now, and I wanted to like take a nap before I went to work. But I was like, if I don't sit down and film this haul, I will never film this haul. And for me, I shop a lot, so I might as well share with you guys like some of the things that I buy. So I'm going to start off with actually what I'm wearing. And the first piece that I got is this necklace. And it's like, it makes me feel really e Egyptian. Like, I love this necklace. Like, when I actually saw it, I was like, I'm not going to buy anything at the mall today. I'm just going to walk around. I was lying to myself. Because as soon as, as soon as I saw this necklace at Burlington for $10, I was like, $10? Like, if you were to find this at Francesca's, it would be damn near $30. And then the next thing I have that I bought is this chunky sweater, or chunky cardigan that I bought from Rainbow, for only $6. $16. No, actually I think it was $12. I was like hesitant about buying this because I was like maybe I could find it cheaper. So I didn't buy it the day that I saw it. Went to the mall. Every chunky cardigan that I saw at the mall was like $30 or $40. So I was like, what am I doing with my life? So I went back and bought this. And I love the color. It's so fall. I love brown for fall. Okay, so... The next thing I bought, um, I'm going to do jewelry first because I don't have that much. I bought this really pretty jeweled necklace. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous. I had to get this and it was only like $6. You know, it's a little bit cheap, might break, but if I keep this like, you know, stored away in a good place, it's not going to break. Like, it looks like a princess necklace. I love the color. The next thing that I got is from Charming Charlie's and it's this uh, pink watch. I don't, usually my watches are like brown, like the one I have on right now, which is also awesome from Charming Charlie's. I usually go for like a leather band, which this kind of sort of looks like, but I don't really go for colors. So I just thought I'd be different and just pick up a colored watch. And it's like a really pretty pale pink, so you really can't go wrong with it. It'll, it'll match with most things. The next thing I'm going to do is shoes. A pair of shoes I bought are from eBay, and they were only $7.00. And it's my first pair of flats. My first ever pair. Well, since middle school. Um, my first ever pair of flats. And I went with the cheetah print ones because I feel like cheetah print is, I wouldn't say chic, but I mean it matches with everything. You can put this with anything and it'll still look good. So then the next pair of shoes that I bought are literally my favorite pair. I thought I was always too short to wear these. But, I would have to say I was wrong. And it's these boots. Not just any boots. They're thigh high. Look, they're still going. Thigh high boots. Look how long those are. They don't even fit on the screen. They look amazing on me, and I'm so glad that I bought these. These were only $50, and I got them from Love Culture. If you look anywhere else for, like, thigh high boots, heel boots at least, they'll cost you way more than $50 unless they're on sale. I was looking for circle scarves and these are a little bit smaller than I want but they are still cute on. So I got these circle scarves from China off eBay and I got this cream one and I got this red one and this red one is so pretty. And these were a like a dollar and a few cents each which um, the shipment was free so if you guys want these these are like a little smaller than the ones at H&M and like four to five dollars cheaper so that's why I went with these instead of the ones at H&M. I also got a black beanie and this is from Rainbow. I'm doing things out of order because that's just the type of personality that I am. I do things out of order. So it just has like you can see it has like yeah you could like see my hand in there which I really didn't like but it's whatever it's still a beanie. Um, They'll still look good. I'm going to move on to actual clothes. The first item is from Love Culture, again, and it's just this plain striped uh, t-shirt. Is that what you guys call them? I don't usually wear t-shirts, so I really... Sweater, t-shirt, it's thin material, so it wouldn't really be count as a sweater, I guess, just a t-shirt. I don't know, but it was only like $7.90, and I kind of wanted just a plain um, white and black shirt I guess. <laughs> the next thing I got is from Ross 
and it's just this um, leather vest and it has fur on the collar and I love fur I don't know why I just love fur for the past year almost two years and this was on sale for only eight dollars so I really had to get this like and it's so cute on so then the next thing I got is from rainbow and this was also on sale and it's just a pink leather jacket just for those like lazy days yes I have lazy days but I still might wear these with heels. Like if I just don't want to dress up the top half of me, just throw some jeans on with a leather jacket when it gets cold. Um, that's kind of like dressing down for me. Next thing I got is the thing that I'm like really most proud of. Because I walked into um, New York and Company, that store um, that sells like, you know, older people. Not older people, but like the businesswoman type of wear. And you can also like buy casual things there. But I saw a trench coat that was like a hundred dollars and I was like I tried it on and I was like this trench coat looks really good but let me see if I can buy it on eBay for cheaper and it's not the same material but it's still the style and it's like a double breasted trench coat <clears throat> and the regular like rain jacket material and it's like fitted at the top and it flares out like a fit and flare dress and it looks so good for my body this was only twenty dollars twenty dollars and it had this great material so i'm definitely going to put this in the description box with the link so in case you guys are interested in your own trench coat so then the next thing that i have i literally just bought this before i came home today and it is this peplum top that's pleather and it has this beautiful beautiful lace at the top going down to the bodice 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 and I tried it on at the store and like, oh my god, it's like a gothic kind of thing. Like, it's not like gothic, like, oh, I'm going to go kill myself. But gothic, like the style from like way back when, it looks so pretty on. I had to get this. It is so pretty. What I got from Rainbow is this half, it's inside out. So it's like, it has pleather on the back and it's like, it drapes in the front front kind of shirt and it's it's fitted so it will go great in like high-waisted um things and it's like really loose and I love the color so I really you know I kind of wanted to try something new like drape tops really takes away from how big my boobs are so and it's really pretty on so that's why I got it and then the next thing I got or the last clothing item that I got is this pleather skirt I know I have like three pleather four five six pleather things that I showed you guys today but I've, I've been really wanting just a normal pleather black pleather fit and flare skirt or skater skirt so I got this from Olive Olay so the last things I have to show is makeup all the makeup products that I bought within like two months and there's also there's one makeup on um, one palette that I bought from uh, Amazon that hasn't come in yet, and I kind of wanted to wait to film this video for that, but I really am done waiting. So the first palette that I did buy is from eBay, but it's still a palette, and it's the Light Up the World. The, curl the colors are gorgeous. I mean, very gorgeous. It's just this palette has so much fallout, and it's not that pigmented, like not that pigmented at all. And it has so much fallout that I kind of regret buying it, so there's nothing really much to say about it. And then the next palette I bought is from Icing, and it's like the 88 pack, and I only got it for like $16.50, so it really wasn't that expensive. And the next thing I have is actually what I have on my eyes right now, and it is the, I just threw away the actual thing that says it, but it's the, um... I think it's actually called Ardell or Sally Hansen's, but Ardell Individual Lash Eyelashes. The eyelash glue that I'm actually using for these are the Lash Grip Waterproof Eyelash Adhesive. I don't know the brand unless the Lash Grip is the brand, but this is what it looks like. And I got this a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, probably like a month ago before I got those eyelashes. If you watched my video three videos ago you would know that I wore red lips for the first time in my life and I bought it from MAC and it is the Ruby Woo oh it's so gorgeous um matte from the retro line matte uh red lipstick and then I also got 
the uh, water, not water liner, oh my god, I can't talk. I also got the cherry lip liner from there that matches it um, really, really well. I liked it so much, I went back to MAC, and a, I bought a second lipstick, and it is this one, and it's in Speak Louder, and it's from the Cream Sheen line, and it just looks so pretty on, like, it is such a pretty color. I got this when I bought the 88 shade palette that I just showed you, and it actually came, this came free as a free gift, and it is this berry lipstick which for only six dollars this lasts pretty long and that's what it looks like if I went out of the lines on my lips uh, don't hate because <laughs> I literally just did this looking at the camera so of course this is only like my third time putting lipstick on so don't hate. I'm trying at least. So then the last product that I got is an eyeliner because my e.l.f. and my Maybelline one kind of suck. This is what it is and you're going to be like what is that? I don't even know what this is. It's from Olive Olay. So that is my haul you guys. If you have an Instagram my name is Let's Jazz It Up too, and I hope to see you guys later. Bye.